What's good, guys? Frankie P here backstage at Y100 Jingle Ball in the Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. And I got my homie AJ Mitchell. We're hanging out. Killed it at the village, by the way. Thank you, man. Thank you for doing that. That That was dope. Absolutely. I'm glad it didn't start like pouring rain. I know. We got a little bit of like a hurricane going on. Not that big of a deal, though. Not a big deal. Uh, I do got to ask because I went on stage. I'm like, yo, guys, should I get the same haircut as AJ Mitchell? And they're like, no, no, no. Only he can pull it off. What? You you mm, totally got it. No, no, no. You totally got it. It took like 20 minutes to do, bro. Mm, yeah, I, I get that. When I, I, dude, when I had long hair, it took me like hours. It took me like an hour to get my hair done. And Is like, that why you even when it all I off? had it, yeah, that's exactly why I chopped uh, off. It and, and when I thought I had it good, my manager was like, "Yo, that's not looking good. What are you doing?" <laughs> I was like, "What? Are you sure?" Do so, fans get upset whoo. that you shaved it? Some of them. Some bit. of them are a little upset. They're like, "Why'd you do that? We love your long hair." But <laughs> all right. I like it. I wake up in the morning, take a shower, and I'm good. Yeah. I wake up and my hair's done. Girls hating us here. Move this way real quick. Okay, okay. Yeah, because we're, we're not on the camera. Real. We gotta pretend oh, like we like each other. Yeah, yeah, we like should each we just other. hug? Let's just should. hug the entire interview. Is this weird? No. A little bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, I do gotta so ask you don't want to do that anymore. No, I mean, you can hold on to me if you all want. Right, I gotta cool. look at my questions. Okay, but, all right. Fine. No, let's go to the, to the uh, shoulder thing. Here we go, there go. Hey, hey. We can look at them together. Oh, no, it's a little awkward. Now you got me feeling all right, weird. Fine. No, 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 get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're back at it. All right, here we go. So I was reading this article. Like, first off, your whole story is pretty dope. You were like 13 when you wrote your first song. You were doing covers on Instagram and YouTube and stuff. But is it true that you didn't originally want to be a singer? So, I mean, I've always loved singing, and, mm. and I think it was, you know, when I started performing a little bit more, I was so nervous to the point where I didn't want to go on stage, and I was so nervous. Like, I was like, you know, if I, if I didn't go on stage, I'd be good with it. But, and that's kind of why I was like, I just want to be the songwriter. I would love to write songs for other people, but I don't know if I want to be in the spotlight. But once I started performing a lot more, and, um, you know, once I started hearing other people singing my songs back to me, that's when I, was, I realized, like, this is, I gotta do it myself. Fi- this is the That's best it. feeling in the world, and there's no other place I'd rather be than on the stage. Uh, so who, speaking of songs that you wrote, who wrote uh, Slow Dance? You or Ava Max? Um, Ava Max. She wrote that? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> neither, neither, of us, neither of us wrote that one. No, neither of you guys? No, that was a song you that was... Lie. That, you could have been like, I wrote the whole thing, guys. The whole thing. No, I'm not a liar. It's all <laughs> did, So then how did the Ava Max thing happen? Slide yeah, the so, DMs, like, hey, yo, girl, what's up? I was like, yo, girl, what's up? How's it doing? <laughs> um, no, so... <laughs> the glasses, really? Yeah, the glasses. No, oh, my um, God. So we really wanted a powerful, I really wanted a powerful singer on it. And um, she has, like, for me, one of the best voices out there. And, um, I mean, she just sings like crazy. And for the song, we really wanted a powerful uh, female vocalist. So we hit her up and was like, yo, it would be amazing for you to be on it. Um, she ended up cutting the record, like, the next day. We got it back, and it was just, it was the perfect fit. No, it was dope. Uh, have you been on a bunch of the stops for Jingle Ball so far? I have. Right. I've been on the I've been on the jingle like the whole for like tour, basically. pretty much so, from pretty much from the beginning to end. So does Started that mean, in Florida, now ending in Florida. So does that mean you haven't done any of like your holiday shopping yet? <sighs> no. <laughs> and I'm so I'm so behind. Are so you bad behind. at holiday shopping or are you good at it? I'm the worst at yeah, holiday okay. shopping. You I'm just buy whatever's so, discount I'm, on Amazon Prime, next day shipping, send that, whatever. I'm so it is. bad. Like I got like some free socks and I'm like, hey, here you some free socks, <laughs> mom. And I'm like, it's bad. It's, what it's would not be good. the perfect holiday gift for you? Like if someone were gonna, if I were gonna give you a gift right now, what would be the perfect holiday? If you gift? would give me a gift yeah. right now, an electric drum kit. Oh, I can't afford that, bro. Oh, do I look like you can afford that? I mean, you don't have to. That is a good gift though. That is a good snag. Do you have a drum kit already, like at home? I don't. I did. I had a drum kit. Um, actually got a drum kit for Christmas when I was twelve, and it was way too loud. My parents hated yep. it. Yeah. So yep. we, My I kind of stopped to playing it. And, and, I, and uh, for me as well, like I, it was so loud. Like I hated playing it because it was just so loud. So it'd be nice to have an electric drum kit just to like plug in my headphones and you know adjust the volume. It's perfect. All right. And speaking of the holidays, would you be on the naughty or the nice list? Be honest. Be honest. If there's like a medium, like in between, like on tour and stuff. If there's know. like an in between section, then that's that's why. <laughs> there's I am. no in between. It's naughty or nice. Which one? I'm on the nice list. Okay, but let's say hypothetically you were on the naughty list. What would you be on the naughty list for? Uh, I can't do too many things to count, like, you know. <laughs> It'd be like that for real? It'd be Dang, like that for real kind of trouble? Manager's looking at me like, no, 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 stop. He's like, don't, stop. Don't expose He's him like, right now. It. He's no, like, no, 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 no. Actually, I got to go. Um, I, <laughs> just kidding. I got a couple questions from people hitting me up on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, this one's my favorite, and I don't know why they asked this. Which way you want to go? This way? Slide oh, this way. Sorry, I know we, we keep moving too much. We're having too much fun. They're trying to keep us trapped. Here we go. All right, uh. Do you peel your chicken nuggets? What the? F- who said that? Uh, someone asked it on Twitter. Nuggets? I'm just the messenger. Like the, the like the skin. Like, do you take the skin off the chicken nuggets? No way. That's the best part. That's right? what I'm saying. But That's the best part. Somebody wants to know if you, have just you been known to take them off? No, never. Where are the best chicken nuggets? Chick Fil A. The best McDonald's, chicken nuggets. Oh. Popeyes. The best chicken nuggets. I would say Chick Fil A actually. Okay. Chick Fil A, we're cool, we're cool, we're, we're boys. Yeah, we got yeah, this. yeah. Okay, See, I knew. If you would have said it. anything but Chick Fil A, I would have been like, "All right, we done. Yeah, I gotta we get done. Out we here. gotta go." Uh, top three moments of 2019. 
Oh, man. I would say performing at the VMAs was one of the craziest experiences. Um, you know, being part of um, MTV Push's um, Artist of the Month. Um, also, Vivo, um, Vivo Lift Artist of the Year. Like, that was one of the biggest moments for me in my career. And then lastly, what's a song you wish that you wrote? Because I know you're a big uh, songwriter. What's one a song, song that you hear and you're like, ah, I wish I would One song that. I wish I wrote, I would say At Last by Etta James. That is one of my favorite and songs. Taking it way back. Can you sing a little bit of it for us? At last. No, that's all I know. Okay. Thank you so much Thank for you, stopping Frankie. by. Please let your hair grow up so that I. Yeah. Actually, just buzzed it yesterday. So oh, I might you're killing just have to me, keep bro. Doing it. Killing me. Uh,